Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the love coming spread for all of my Aquarius out there for the week of September 29th until October 5th. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what is popping. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. 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 Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What kind of love is coming towards my Aquarius during the week of September 29th into October 5th? What kind of love is coming towards my Aquarius in the week of September 29th into October 5th? Two cards that I need to see. All right. Ooh. Oh. That's rough. That is rough, rough, rough. Alright, there's a couple interesting things going on here. Very interesting, actually. So, taking it from the top. We got the world card here, okay? So, there is a completion of a cycle, the completion of a journey here, okay? Um, and, um, again, it could possibly be someone figuratively or literally just taking a trip or something. Or again, figuratively would be the end of a cycle, tra traveling from one aspect of place to another. Anyway, giving a sense of liberation, sense of freedom. Um, and this person looks at you and they see this potential outcome here. However, with that being the case, they are still, you know, you got a little bit of nine of wands energy here. There's still a bit of apprehension that they're feeling. Even though they know that being with you would like kind of like to be the the end of a cycle, the end of a search for them, um, it's still kind of iffy, all right? So they're not too sure about what's going on with you. So with that being said, this person is a king of swords. That is an air sign energy. So that is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius energy. So just kind of recapping here to be a little, a little bit more clear cut. This individual is at it has come to the end of a cycle, end of a journey, okay? And they look at you as being the person uh, that they want to begin a new journey with because they're at the end of that other journey. Now, with that being said, a little bit at something about being with you, getting with you, um, they're they're a little apprehensive about. They don't, you know, they're a little bit apprehensive watching their back. Maybe they're kind of unsure of themselves. So. That's pretty much what's going on with that individual, okay? Now, with that being said, we have another, uh, and I think the more interesting air sign individual, which is the Knight of Swords, okay? Again, it is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Now, this energy is interesting because this person, again, this is the person who is the loudest, you know, uh, kind of speaks, kind of uh, speaks before they think, so to, so to speak. So that's what's going on with this individual, and so they're just and, and, and they move quick too. They 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 cut it quick, very harsh, very forked tongue. Now, with that being said, here, what's interesting about this here is their actions cause a tower moment. Okay, it caused a tower moment. Something that they said or something that they did, uh, just the overall general behavior. It just kind of sent things boom, and it was it was very disruptive. It was very disruptive. Uh, but this is going to be interesting how this plays out. This is really really going to be interesting how this plays out because even though it caused a tower moment, okay, again because maybe the way of how they presented themselves, because of the forked tongue, etc. etc. Wheel of Fortune is moving in their favor. Okay? Crazy, right? Like, what the hell? Will of Fortune is moving in their favor. In addition, we got the Eight of Wands here. So, this is a lot of information, a lot of text information, uh, social media. It's a lot of information being sent back and forth. Um, and, you know, they're just kind of waiting for their ships to come in. All right? Now, in, in addition... You got the cherry card here. They've taken control of the situation. They've asserted themselves. Take control of the situation. So let's just let's break this bad boy down. Okay, so here's the thing about this particular situation. What I'm feeling and what it looks like to me. 
this person said something that was probably true, all right? But they said it in a kind of a fucked up way. And they kind of said, boom, okay, kind of blew up the whole situation, all right? Maybe, um, you you know, uh, you were talking to someone else or messed with someone else, something like that. And they, they spoke some truth, but it was in a really kind of harsh way. And it blew things up. But then, things began to turn because what they actually said turned out to have some type of relevance, some type of truth to it. All right? And the will of fortune began to move in their favor because now it's like you kind of sit back in the cut saying, damn, you know what? Maybe this person was right. Again, interesting how this whole plane played out. Then there's, there's some communication being sent back and forth, back and forth. Okay? All right? And, you know, they're kind of waiting for their ships to come in because whereas though this person, you pretty much is like, you son, get out of here. All of a sudden now it turns out that this individual is coming back into play again. You know, rethinking about really cre uh, uh, creating something with this individual has really become palpable again. And, again, Cherry, person is pretty much... Uh, 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 Taking control of the situation, stirring in the direction that they wanted to go in. So, you know, just because the Knight of Swords sometimes can be very, um, very forked tongue, you know, don't necessarily mean that they're wrong, okay? They, they, sometimes they just don't know how to present themselves uh, properly, uh, you know, or, 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 or diplomatically. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes things just need saying. And sometimes the best way, the most uh, politically correct way to put something is just sometimes just to say it, you know. And so that's pretty much what seems to be the thing that happened here. Uh, some, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know that's that's pretty much what happened. This person just said what was on her mind, mind, and bang. So that's what happened here. So, with that being said, let's see what kind of strengths. You're going to be working with doing the 29th, um, doing the, the 29th to October 5th. What kind of strengths are you going to be dealing with during the week of um, <clears throat> September 29th to October 5th? What kind of strengths are you going to be dealing with? Okay, that feels right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Ooh. Okay, so we got the star card. Okay. Rather wise known as the card of hope, renewal. So again, these are all your strengths. So there's definitely a sense of a sense of renewal, uh, a sense of purpose, a sense, a sense of hope. So that is definitely beginning to, uh, to come into play here again. Um, we got the Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of energy and communication being sent back and forth. Again, this is your strengths, okay? Your ability to, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, 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 these type of you know, things that really kind of give you a sense of, 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 of solidness and insight into, into how to pretty much navigate through um, any particular situation. These are the positive attributes of that. So with that being said here, also we got the seven of swords so uh you recognize sneaky behavior when you see or you at least you do now because that also probably this individual with this knight of swords probably most likely probably said something uh, uh along the lines of probably told you maybe you were being cheated on or being lied to um and didn't really think about you know this kind of said it and it kind of caused a whole bunch of drama but um it was what you needed because um it kind of opened things wide open here, okay? Uh, and in addition here, you got the two of wands here, so you do have choices. You recognize the choices that you have. In addition here, you got the hangman, so you're not afraid to put the brakes on something if that's what it takes. Um, also, we got the four of pentacles here, which is a short success. So at this point... Um, the, at this stage of the situation, you're pretty assured that you know what you know. Now, you experienced 
This ten of swords energy here, stabbing in the back, probably had something very much to do with that tower moment that happened. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm seeing it. I'm stating my claim. It has something very much to do with that tower moment. Absolutely. Um, and that air sign individual just kind of put it out there and like bam and then it just kind of everything kind of settled when the smoke began to clear Turns out they knew what they were talking about We also we got the ten of cups here which says that hey you're open to a family long-term situation So you're definitely in the market for that and finally here we have the hermit which is a lot of self-reflecting and soul searching you know so you've done a lot of that especially because of the tower situation and also the ten of swords situation that happened it kind of you know you have a new sense of perspective on things so what particular um things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation what particular things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation <clears throat> Well, that's pretty straightforward. Well, let's just say you meet what you consider to be a soulmate. Well, all bets are off, right? I mean, that's done. You meet a soulmate, twin flame, it's over. It's done. You're not even gonna, you're not even gonna pursue anything else because that's something, someone that you really want to be with. So, that's the end of that. Second of all, here we talk that we have the page of pentacles here. So, page of pentacles again, really communicating, really specifically. Um, very strategic in how things are being put. Um, and again, that's probably what you did in the past here. And it turned out that, you know, um, maybe things didn't kind of, the ball didn't bounce the way that you thought thought it was going to. That, that, therefore, um, you know, you're, especially with this Knight of Swords energy here, uh, it, it kind of like, you know, being really careful about how you word things making sure they don't be they get taken out of context um you're, you're probably going to begin to, to rethink that you know um you know be because of what happened um so you're pretty much going to probably probably begin to move on over on to the maybe the night of uh night of swords energy yourself and pretty much kind of say what's on your mind um you know it, it's just it's just how things work you know if you're if you're in a situation and and you're being really careful and really uh, diplomatic about how you put things and you find out you're on the short end of the stick anyway you're going to change the way you approach it and finally we have the queen of pentacles here which tells me that you know uh you want to be with somebody that's really down to earth and really makes good uh decisions when it comes to finances and things of that nature and if you run across a situation where that turns out to be an issue you're going to be like, bounce, get out of here. You, you know, you're not trying to pay nobody else's bills. And so that's pretty much what's going on here. So with that being said, let's see what additional information spirits want to bestow upon you. What additional information spirits want to bestow upon you before I shut the screen down here. <clears throat> Straight from the door. So we got heat, passion, fire. Right from the back, it, it seems to be a lot of passion, a lot of energy here. The potential for a lot of um, a lot of heat, a lot of energy, a lot of sexual uh, tension that needs to possibly probably be relieved here, um, because this situation just like I said, the, the potential here is is, is huge. Uh, because that tower moment and that and that night of swords. So, again, the the potential for some really hot, passionate, you know, stuff is here. All right, if you choose it to be. However, with that being said, spirits are also telling you to use a little bit discernment. Okay, uh, a little bit of discretion here. Okay, don't don't be all out in the open about it. Just kind of play it close to the vest. You know, uh, play close to the vest. Um, you know, once burnt, twice shy. And just kind of take things slow in sense of moderation. Take sense of moderation, okay? 
Um, don't rush into anything too quickly. Um, there definitely does probably going to have to be some kind of healing process that's going to need to take place. Uh, but just kind of take it slow and, and, and do it in a sense of moderation. You know, don't, don't go too crazy with it. But with all that being said, the potential for a hot passion situation does exist. You know, um, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, people in, in a very uh, frustrating situation, uh, sometimes, you know, um, hot passionate, you know, hot passionate situation kind of makes everything else go away, at least temporarily, at least. And, you know, it just seems like you kind of got blindsided here and, 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 and uh, the potential for something like that does exist here. Okay, but that's completely up to you. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down. Hopefully it resonated with you guys. This is a general love reading. If it didn't, that's cool. I'm going to get a personal reading and I can see what's going on with your particular situation. If it did resonate with you, hey, that's even better. And you can get a love reading so we can find out what's going on with your particular situation also. So with all that being said, please like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.